Well, hello and welcome to our video tutorial. Let's talk about Vegas Pro, particularly the ProType Titler. Now this thing is really cool. It gives you a, a chance to make some really neat professional looking titles, but there is a little bit of a learning curve, at least it was for me. I had some frustrating times with it, just trying to figure out how to use some of the basic functions. And uh, so let's try that out. I looked on the internet and uh, a lot of other people have similar frustrations as well. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to go up into our media generators and go into the prototype titler, take an empty event and drag that down into the time Timeline. And when I do that, this uh, control box comes up. And you notice down here we have uh, some choices here. I'm going to click on Collections. And that gives me some preset with some very nice uh, type of titles here. I'm going to choose the Float and Pop. And you see down here in a little example of what it's going to look like. And at this point, this is where I was frustrated. I thought, uh, how do I do it? Because I'd type in uh, words and it wouldn't float and pop. It, it wouldn't do anything. Well, the problem is you have to take the float and pop, left click and drag it down into the timeline area down in here. And then we're going to press play and see what it does. And you see it does, as you would expect, floating and popping. But I don't want the word float and pop, I want my own word, so how would I do that? So at this point, we're going to left click on the word itself. We're gonna go up here and click left click on the edit text. And then we're gonna position our cursor right in front of the word, left click and drag all the way to the right. Go all the way over here, even if you can't see the rest of the words. Just do that right there. Now, stop. Don't click anything else. Don't do anything else except type in the words that you want, all right? So I'm going to type in V-E-S Tutorials, O-R-I-A-L-S. Let's hope I spelled it right. And immediately out of that, we can just click and get out of it, and we'll see if we've got it now. Let's press play and see if it actually took. And it has here, we're a little slow on our monitor window, VES Tutorials, so we have done it. Now anytime you want to do some other manipulations to it, we can right click on it, go back up here to Edit Generated Media, and here we can get into all sorts of different presets, we can change the color, we can change all sorts of things here. But the purpose of this tutorial is not necessarily to get all the details, I just wanted to give you the basics of being able to put your own title into it. That was the frustrating thing. Once you get that, then you can play around with some of the other title characteristics, but man, that was frustrating for me. And maybe you're having the same problem I was, and uh, hopefully this will solve that. So now you can progress and start really getting into it once you get the basics down.